Tasha Denman, the ultimate 48 hour author, and today we are in Cairns with Rita Zapula, author of Today's Profits, Tomorrow's Freedom. And let me read the tagline because I don't want to get it wrong. The Small uh, Business Owner's Guide to Thrive Now and with Retire Wealthy. Isn't that everyone's dream? Yeah? Definitely everyone's <laughs> dream. So, Rita, you and I uh, met, I think it was 18 months ago. It, it, was, the fir- it was the first ever Cairns workshop. Yes, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I think you were yeah. the very first one. Yeah. And Rita, guys, did her uh, Ultimate 40 Hour Author Retreat in November. So we're coming up to 12 months now. And yeah. uh, we've spent quite a lot of time with you in the last 12 months. So what I want to know, if you, we can rewind the clock back, first of all, yeah. uh, to 18 months ago, you came to the event, obviously, that you're helping at, at yes, today. Exactly. And thank you very much. Um, was there a, um, a thinking for, um, I guess, timeline of ha- um, writing a book or was it something you just explored and you kind of realised you should do it when you came to the event? What was the trigger? The trigger was probably, I think you were Facebook spamming me. I don't know why, it seemed <laughs> to be popping up in my feed. Yeah. And I kept looking at it and I thought, I should go listen to this lady. I've never really had the dream to write a book, but I yeah. had a lot of people around me in my network were starting to write books and then... I think it was when I came to a workshop and you've got, everyone's got a message and a story to tell and to share. And I realized I had a number of my clients are coming to me at 61 or 63 years of age and have no money. And I'm constantly frustrated that I'm meeting them too late. And I thought I need to get to them earlier. And the problem I find, nobody wants to pay for a financial planner. So I thought I can do this. I can Mm. do this, a $30 book. Hopefully I can get to people sooner. And that was, that was the dream. And yeah, I turned up to your book and the process just made it so much easier to make it happen. Yeah. Well, uh, as Rita said, she's a financial planner or advisor, whatever you want to uh, call it. And yeah, you you guys' passion is to help people totally. have you know the the uh, safety within retirement when we can't work and yeah. you know be go 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 all the time, which is wonderful. And that's what she covers in her book. Tell me a little bit more. What would people get out of uh, reading your book? So I did my book to to help anybody at whatever stage they are in small business because what I find people might either be starting out they're a tradie or whatever so the book actually covers your whole journey so whether Mm. you're starting out setting goals budgeting um, how to read a profit and loss which actually seems to be a real big topic people want I explain about the Australian taxation system about superannuation Um, the other big thing is self-managed super how people can actually use their superannuation to buy property in their for their business to use in their business which is great and then I talk about setting the business up to sell. And then, and obviously the other stage when they actually have sold the business, how to make sure they have a comfortable retirement. So that was the big process. And I thought, I don't know what stage people will be at, but yeah. they all need help at all those different stages. So hopefully yeah. the book will act as a trigger for people yeah. where they need help. Um, and what, yeah. yeah. So it is aimed at small business owners? Totally small business owners. Okay, you know, yeah. And I get that because owners. I've been in small business 10 years now. Yeah. And we've got, we use a financial advisor and, you know, and the super thing, yeah. you know, they're always encouraging, put money into yeah, super and all this exactly. kind of stuff. And, um, and that, that's the stuff that I think um, you're so, I guess, uh, enthralled into running your business that you don't, uh, you think it's whatever's happening right here and now. But no. yeah, it's really important to look to the amount of people that are not putting money in small business because they're a sole trade or in a partnership or in mm. a family trust. They don't have to, and people are constantly mm. amazed that you don't have to put the nine and a half percent. Obviously, if you're mm. an employee, you do. Yeah. But too many small business owners ignore themselves, and that is what's happening. They're not paying themselves first. Yeah. That one rule we always say: pay yourself first. They need to be doing the nine and a half percent to super and, and to super much, and that's what they're not doing. And that yeah. will make a big difference. Just every year, that little bit mm. over 15, 20 years, they will have you a comfortable up. retirement. But they're leaving it too late. At 61, I can't wait in magic world yeah. to make it all happen. Yeah. I can try, but yeah. it's hard. It's, <laughs> it's really hard. hard. Awesome. So um, this book, you, as I said, you came to the November retreat, which is 11 months ago. Yeah. Um, and then your uh, book was in your hands by March because we were like in this workshop six months ago yeah. and you were waiting at the post office for the first <laughs> copy. So you turned it around pretty rapid. I'll say it takes three to four months after retreat, okay. which is... You followed the timeline and you went overseas. And I went overseas in December, which is probably not the wisest thing to fit in in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, and don't forget, I actually tried first to do it on the online version. Uh, I yeah. tried the online and then I realized, no, you know what? I need Nat's help. I need yeah. to go to retreat and just smash this out. And, yeah. and it forced me and it made me do it. Yeah. It was great doing it in November because Christmas and January generally have a bit of a slow time in business. So yeah. it gave me more time to do all the proofing and the editing and reviewing things. Yes. Yeah, having an overseas trip in Europe was not the best time to fit that yeah. in. 
But hey, I still got it done. Um, I think April was my big order arrived, but in March yeah. we got the first copy yeah. and it was all great and we were go. And the launch was in May. So I'm wow. really happy how quick I turned it around and it worked. So what is okay. happening now? What are you doing and what do you intend to do? I yes. still, you're still a fresh new author, yeah. only five or six months. So exactly. what, what would you like to see your book do for you or what has happened since? Yeah, so well, the, the book already has opened up doors. So yep. I've been asked to speak at Cairns Business Women's Club um, and I've been approached to be in magazines with other authors. Obviously they've done feature articles, but I would never have been given those opportunities. So already that's opened up doors. Yep. I'm hoping to convert the book like to a digital course because not everybody likes to read a book, unfortunately. They might yes. start and I'll get a little bit through it, but they won't finish it. Yeah. Um, my aim will be to develop a digital online course and eventually maybe doing speaking gigs around Australia, but actually to the smaller towns and the communities mm. where often guest speakers don't go to. Um, yeah. And that, that's the bigger picture, like five year vision. So yeah. in five years time, that is the vision. Yeah. My children will have finished school. Obviously I'm planning a few yeah. things. Juggling She's a planner, family. right? <laughs> Juggling family. It. So once my, my last child's in grade 12 and left home, that is the vision. I can then maybe take right. the book on the road and, and hopefully my digital online course will be fully developed and you know, iron out all the kinks. I love that. it. So. Yeah. She's she big plan. Yeah. <laughs> and I I love how you continue to invest in yourself and experts yeah. to help you put these jigsaw yeah. puzzles, puzzles together. So it's you important. um followed the, about the process. I want to talk about the process. Yeah. So did you um how did you find it? You did attempt speaking out. I did the speaking out. Well, obviously I did the prep first. Yes. We worked with Stu and we had yeah. our practice of um how to unpack the chapters and that yeah. was good. And I did all my homework. I had the 11 yeah. chapters done before yeah. retreat and I think yeah. that that's so important I think I probably wasn't as prepared as I should have been yeah and then I did just speak it out at retreat mm -hmm. and probably should have started one or two modules probably in hindsight probably should have done one or two more because I would yeah. have got a bit more out of retreat um but it all worked it still all worked I got yeah. them back um and then the clean up the clean up that is yeah. the hard work the annoying part which is I hate that yeah. bit as well but it's just having yeah. resilience and pushing yourself through it and just yeah. keep going I mean it, but you guys are nagging and I think that's great <laughs> well that's what we pay you for yeah. I hate to yeah. say I want you to make me make it happen and it made it happen and yeah. got done in, in a short amount of time I've spoken to people they've taken five years to write a book why I mean your story has changed in that time oh, yes. so, I no. always say start all over again yeah. I said it's outdated exactly. now the content and all that yeah. and I love that you know um, and as you said the online portal was there but the yeah. push and actually having the hand holding is so <coughs> much more yeah. valuable and if you get the result at the end of the day um, and you've quicker. saved time yeah. <laughs> Huge you know, time, time is money, as they say. So yeah. therefore, you know, it kind of outweighs yeah. the bigger investment of the retreat, of course. Yeah. Beautiful. So where can people buy your book? On your website? Yes. On my website, yes. my business website. Um, and we'll put the link below. We will put a, the link below. It's too complicated to say. <laughs> yes. yeah. um, but also on Amazon, Booktopia. Um, yes. So look should... up today's profits, tomorrow's freedom, and it should come up on yes. all your good online yeah, reseller yeah. stores definitely, um, definitely but definitely directly from readers yeah. website which we'll post on below this video um thank you so much i i thank have you. loved working with you because uh, rita was one of those students that did everything we said followed the system yeah. was very proactive she has involved herself in the community as well to you know to help others yeah. i think you've been a, a great person we've got a couple of other cans authors who have benefited from your help and they're on their path yeah. to p publishing. So you have a b really big giver yeah. spirit and what she shares in this book and how she wants to help other pe pe people, that's all, all, her ultimate outcome is to, uh, you know, help people retire yeah. wealthy, right? Um, so thank you, Rita, for being here thank today. You. Let's see if we can discover some new author talent here in Cairns today. And I look forward to a long friendship as we well. Will. We will. See you guys. <laughs> Bye.